Hi everybody, I'm Robert and you're watching Backyard Body Works. Today we're going to do something a little different. Um, we're waiting on parts for the GT6 to get here. So I one of the one of my followers of my channel, um, and he's got a he's working on a a, a Spitfire, the convertible, and uh, it's the early type with the with the chrome on the fenders. Um, to me, it looks you know. He's, to me, it looks like it's a '66 or a '67. Mine's a '67, '68-ish. It says on the title '67, but it's actually a '68. Um, the uh, the problem he's having a problem with lining up the bonnet, and I've had that similar problem when I first had the car years ago, and I was younger then, and I just you know, I I'll just live with it. It's one of those things. But watching his channel, I have decided to revisit this issue and see if I can't help him with an issue that he's having that's getting the card the bonnet to line up properly okay as you can see it has it is really tight right here to the point that it touches and you know my paint's chipping and I've got a nice gap over there you know, it's really nice through here and then it tightens up through here and down through here to the point that it, when my door opens it rubs and you know now that I'm a little older I'm not happy with that and you know even though that's you know I'm a little bit off here the gaps good here it's just not good here so I told Chris that I was gonna try some things based on what he has done and see if that I can't get my bonnet to change position and line up better and if I'm successful, I told him that I'd show, show him this video and um, let him see what I did to change the, the, the gaps. So follow along, stick with us, and we're gonna get to work. All right. Now, as you can see, the gap is much wider now. And when I open the door, it's no longer hitting the fender. So, I'm going to show you what I found to be the case. Come on, here we go. With what was going on here. I actually had several issues that uh, I have corrected that I didn't see when I first was working on the bonnet. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate that. And that was the adjustment here as well as the adjustment here. And there's several points. I loosened up this piece, this piece, which is underneath here, these pieces here, this piece here. And this piece here, all these are connected to this pop, the, the support tube here that goes up over the finger well and into the bracket there, which that bracket is not welded to the post on either side and allows for movement forward and backward, as well as adjusted down here. And uh, with all those points adjusted, it actually it actually came into a truer line. Something that, you know, I couldn't figure out when I was younger. You guys have helped me out, so thanks a lot. I appreciate that. You probably have toyed with this idea or you've tried it, is adjusting that tube. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work for your car. Um, all I know is that I tried it and it worked here. Another thing that I did was that as it was closed, As it was closed, you know, I came up to the front and was and had tension on the front and adjusted some of the bolts here. That is a lot better than it used to be. 
And of course, you know, time will tell as I open and shut the bonnet, you know, if it goes back to where it, where it was. And if it was, then, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. And there's, a, you know, this car had an had a interesting life as well. Not as bad as the GT6, but it's had an interesting life. And uh, the gaps look good. I'm happy with those. Um, I'm not happy with some of the imperfections. You know, the paint's starting to come off because I didn't, I didn't prep well. Um, this is actually before I actually went to school to do this and um, I started prepping it and um, it wasn't until later that I realized that I had done a bad thing because if you look in the thing you see it starting to bubble up here and there's some other places that it's that's got imperfections in, and it's just in the bonnet it's not anywhere else in the car this is just a, a driver for me and I just I enjoy driving it and it really could use some some uh, some better care than what I've given it in the past and as I get finished with the GT6 I'm going to revisit this car and uh, change some things that I wish I would have done years ago do my maintenance to it that I usually do in the spring and then I'll drive it all summer long and uh, it's a lot of fun <laughs> so anyway <clears throat> Thanks for watching. And you guys, uh, Chris, I hope this has helped you. If not, um, you know, I tried. And uh, I hope I gave you some insights as to the problem that you're having with you. Because I know just how frustrating that can be. And it just drives you crazy. Because you can't, you can't, you can't figure it out. It's like, what is, what is, everything's lining up, but yet everything's not lining up. So you're like, you know, mm-hmm. So, I hope this helped you. See, I've got, I think I've got the same problem that you have, is that it's tight here and it's wide over there, but yet everything seems to be lining up. So I'm like, I'm wondering if it's not something that is a manufacturing thing or, you know, that's just the, the nature of the car and how it goes together. Um, that would be an interesting research. Um, for you guys that have the model years, the 64 through the 69 Spitfire that have chrome across the top, uh, are you seeing similar things that we're seeing? And if so, and if you fixed them, a comment would be great. We would love to hear from you. Um, other than that, you know, continue to watch. And I hope that this has helped some people to figure out some of the problems that they're having with their bonnets so thanks guys and continue to watch thanks for watching uh, this concludes this uh, series video um, if this video has helped you and you like it be sure to like uh, hit the like button below um, if you want to follow other projects that we're working on, subscribe and ring the bell. That'll alert you as to when we upload videos. Um, continue to uh, follow the project as we're still, you know, we're waiting for parts on the GT6 to get here. And uh, we'll continue to work on the bonnet uh, as soon as uh, the parts are available. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.